Hi everyone, this is Susie from CreatedToCraft.com. It's been a while since I've done a video, and uh, I really have a lot to do. I have a lot to share. So I thought I would do this quick share here with you. We had a swap at Little Scrap of Heaven, and it's a pincushion swap. The theme is blue and white. So I decided to make my pincushion on a jar, and uh, I'll go ahead and show you what I did. This is the uh, top of the cushion. I used a uh, fabric, I, I forget the fabric line I used, uh, who the maker is. But anyway, I just um, stretched it over. Be quiet, honey, I'm on the video. Um, I stretched it over um, an old zinc mason jar lid. These are really old, and um, I, I like them. They're really cool looking. I actually paint on them a lot, too, the tops, because they're, they're not real slippery and slick. Anyway, this is the cushion top. I tied a seam binding around a, a Tim Holtz curio knob and I made a couple little p pins for her. Just uh, this, These are those little pearl top pins and I just put a little flower on it. This one here is a uh, just a normal straight pin with a little pearl that I put on it. Another one and I put a little rose on it. And then this one's really cute. It's just a little flower and I tapped it on top of a normal straight pin. And um, this little tag I made is made out of the same fabric. I just added some flat back pearl and some eyelet trim. And um, I actually stuffed this with, it's um, actually raw wool. I, I buy sometimes fleeces and I, I would uh, wash them and, and sell them, you know, in a couple ounce packages in my uh, other Etsy, one of my Etsy stores. But... It's better to stuff them with the wool roving or the the raw wool because um, even though I wash them, there's still lanolin left in the wool, and it's really good for your pins. The grease or, or lanolin in the wool helps keep your pins sharp, and and you know it's just a, a good way to keep them. And then I went ahead and took some seam binding and gathered it, and I um, glued it all around the base of the pin cushion, and added some eyelet trim. And then it goes on top of this cute little mason jar. It's a little square mason jar. I filled it with a few goodies, handmade flowers, some little spools, some flowers, just some little goodies that would fit in there. And the seam binding I tied around it, I actually uh, stuck it on with red line tape so that it wouldn't uh, slide up and down here. So that's that, and uh, I hope my partner enjoys it. It's really cute. I like it. I've... And now, this is uh, another swap we're doing with. Um, we met uh, some ladies at Prima Art Venture this year, a couple months ago in January. And uh, we became friends, and we we sat at the table, and our first class was with Frank Garcia, and all eight of us ladies were at this table, and we just hit it off so well, we decided to do all our other classes uh, and sit at the same table. So once the Art Venture was over, we exchanged names and everything, and we decided to do swaps, and this is our first one. This is the first time I've ever done a Prima Doll tag, and my friend Shirley Stark, hi Shirley, um, she does them all the time, and now I know, my gosh, there's so much work. Oh my goodness. You have to stamp it, then you have to cut the doll out, then you have to stamp the little clothes on different paper, cut them out. So I made her a little polka dot red dress, and uh, used some glitter for her pockets and the same glitter paper for her headband. I colored her hair with uh, actually the really awesome um, Primza color. Uh, they're actually colored pencils. I attached a little acrylic flower. The stamp says sending you left friend and I can't remember what stamp it is or who makes it. I just have it in my little book and I, I don't have a name of it. Then I also for her shoes I tied um, some some crochet thread and cut off the little paper ones that were on there and attached those to match. The top I did, uh, I used a Stampin' Up! Butterfly Punch and then I stamped it again but I trimmed it down so it could just layer inside there. A little uh, paper white rose and these little rose buds from I Am Roses. I used seam binding for the top. And then I, this is a, a Fisker's Heart Border Punch that I used here. And this paper is just beautiful. It's it's called um, Lovely, and it's by Authentique. And um, anyway, it's just beautiful paper. 
And I only had enough to do six. There's eight of us. One lady who couldn't participate in this one, and I couldn't make one for myself because I did not have enough paper. So I'm kind of bummed. But I'll have this video. Then I made uh, a stick pin to go inside. They're really pretty stick pin with um, the pink and red little rose um, lamp glass bead and some uh, Swarovski crystal right here. Anyway, it turned out really pretty. And... Um, just stick it back in there. So, um, I made six of them, and here they are, all six of them. Just check them out. Um, there's that one there. Anyway, I made a couple of them. I, I made three with the red flower beads and three with green. I just thought the green was really pretty. It just kind of makes the leaves pop a little more. And I love green anyway. But they're ready to go. And uh, all I have to do is, on the back I put... Uh, red cardstock and I made these little envelopes with the envelope punch board and I'm going to stick them on the back and put my information in there in a little note. And uh, so those are the tags. Then I also did, this is my last share, this is my last item, uh, uh, some cards I made for Valentine's Day. I just thought I would share this real quick. This is the one I made for my husband. I make them one every year and this is this year's. But I made a few of them. And this is actually um, done with digital prints, and um, I, I love these images. And I spray them with, uh, I forget what the stuff is you spray them with so that the ink doesn't run, but I use it and it works great. And then this is a Stampin' Up! stamp. Uh, it says, Love You. Little Tim Holtz mini clip, and some more of that beautiful glitter paper by Stampin' Up! I tie a satin ribbon here, some glitter, red zigzag, and then it's layered on... Uh, craft cardstock, Stampin' Up! red cardstock, and then the, the digital print. Another little digital print here, and I'm not sure what paper line this is from, the little striped paper. But that was my Valentine's card that I wanted to share also. And I think that's it for now, and uh, I'll try to do another video soon because I have some adorable Valentine mini albums I need to share. And I had tons of Christmas cards that I did that I never got to share, and I'd like to share those, and uh, just some other things. But I'll be back soon. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.